Aloha guys and welcome back to Eat and Be Eaten. Today we have a very simple but very delicious recipe for you. We are making guava milkshakes. On our channel we are on a journey to discover everything we can about the food and food culture of Hawaii. Check out our videos on huli chicken, kalua pig, and more. This is Eat and Be Eaten Hawaii. These are white guavas from a tree in our orchard that Hannah's harvesting. They're sweeter than your traditional guava and also a little bit bigger. One note about guava here in Hawaii is they grow like a weed absolutely everywhere, so it's best to avoid planting them on purpose because they will take over your orchard. Okay, now to prepping the guavas for the recipe, you're going to want to cut off the tip where the petiole of the flower bud was, because that's where ants like to congregate. Wash it first and also cut it off. Like I said, this is an extremely simple recipe, just making a milkshake. So quarter up your guava into slices. You are going to combine it with milk, vanilla ice cream. Right here we've got some gelato, Madagascar, vanilla bean, delicious ice cream. And on that note, if you want to see a video all about growing vanilla, growing tips, how to pollinate, which can be very difficult for vanilla vines, you can click that link in the upper right corner. And we have a couple videos on our channel all about vanilla, growing care, and a guide uh, of how to. Where there's a little, a little lip, oh, it's a little lip. So once you have your guava cut up, you're going to want to put it through a food mill. This is really the only uh, sort of complicated aspect to this recipe. Guavas are absolutely loaded with seeds, which you can eat. It's fine, but it's not so pleasant to drink all that in a milkshake. So by putting it through the food mill, you get that sweet pulp um, that comes through. Get the seeds out. That'll be left over for refuse. And then comes the fun part. Take your guava pulp, put it into your blender. I used four guavas for this recipe. Then pour enough milk to cover the guava pulp and two large scoops of vanilla ice cream. Again, it's a milkshake. It's up to you the exact proportions you want to use, how thick you like it. And the final ingredient that is definitely worth including is cinnamon. A couple of shakes of cinnamon makes the vanilla and the guava flavors pop. Then turn on your blender, blitz it up, and you've got yourself a milkshake. Up to you whether or not you want to use ice. I prefer ice. Hannah prefers no ice. Um, but yeah, then you have a guava milkshake. Really delicious. The vanilla, the guava, the cinnamon all go really well together. I've also seen cardamom used instead of cinnamon, and I think that would work very well too. So there is your vanilla milkshake. Another delicious way to eat guava is with li hing powder. Li hing powder is extremely popular in Hawaii, originally from China. We made a video on our channel explaining all about it, so I'm going to kick it over to that now if you'd like to watch. Mahalo again. Aloha. Li Hing Mui is a popular snack here in Hawaii. It's originally from China, means traveling plum, and it is dried, salty, sweet, sour plums that are sprinkled with a powder that's made with the skins of dried plums, as well as sugar, salt, and licorice, usually also some preservatives. You can find gummy bears and all kinds of snacks and candies coated with Li Hing powder. And then you can also find the traditional plums, either seed in or seedless, as well as other fruits like dried ginger, dried mango slices, dried cherries. Um, so the Li Hing powder itself is sort of the quintessential ingredient. And uh, one of the best things you can do with it is sprinkle it all over pineapple, soak the pineapple. The sweetness of the pineapple combines with the tanginess and makes for a perfect combination. And that's the basics of Li Hing. Now here is a trailer uh, for our channel that we made about a year ago. Aloha and welcome to our channel called Eat and Be Eaten. We're on a journey to discover everything we can about the food and food culture of Hawaii. Popular modern dishes like Lokomoko, Huli Chicken, Simon and Shave Ice as well as the customary Hawaiian foods and traditions. 
Here we make an emu, or underground oven, to cook lao lao, which are bundles of pork, fish, and vegetables, wrapped in luau leaves and steamed slash barbecued in the pit. We hunt for wild boar and make Portuguese sausages, spearfish and polefish along the reefs, Gather wild ferns to make ho'io salad. And crabs for kamaboko dip. We'll show you about poke, local goat cheeses, Picking plums way up on the mountain to make Li Hing Mui. And canoe plants like coconuts, kalo, and bananas. Plus popular sides like Koela Palau, chili pepper water, Inamona, and more. If you like the sound of those kinds of things, hit the subscribe and the bell. New videos on weekends. This is Eat and Be Eaten Hawaii. Aloha!